Have you just found out that your cyanuric acid level is too low and you're wondering how to fix it? Well, that's what this video is all about, so stick around. Hi there, I'm Louis from Pool Advisor and this video is all about low cyanuric acid in swimming pools. If this video does help you at all, please like it and subscribe to my channel, which is all about swimming pool maintenance. So, why is low cyanuric acid in your pool a problem? Well, when you add chlorine to your pool, UV from the sun will quickly degrade it and it can actually be all gone within a matter of hours. We add stabilizer, also known as cyanuric acid, to our pool to bind to that chlorine and to change it to a form that is protected from the sun and can't be degraded any further. If you don't have enough cyanuric acid, you'll quickly run out of free chlorine and you'll start to see algae and bacteria growing in your pool, which is dangerous and leads to unsanitary conditions for swimmers. So what is the ideal cyanuric acid concentration in our pool? Well, it's generally recommended that you should be between 30 to 50 ppm. If you're below 30 ppm, you'll start to see uh, your, your chlorine being degraded too quickly and you'll run out of free chlorine and start seeing algae growth. If you're above 50 ppm, you'll actually start to see that um, you have too much cyanuric acid in your water, which will be binding with virtually all the chlorine and you'll have no free chlorine left to actually um, oxidize and kill bacteria and algae, which is also a problem. So you really wanna sit between that 30 and 50 ppm range as much as possible. So considering that range, how much stabilizer should you add to your pool to achieve the 30 to 50 ppm recommendation? Well, that depends on a few different factors, including your pool volume, your current cyanuric acid concentration, and your target cyanuric acid concentration. So to help you work out how much stabilizer to add to your pool, I've made a pool stabilizer calculator, um, and I'll run you through that right now. Here's the pool stabilizer calculator, available at pooladvisor.com.au, and there'll be a link to this in the description below, so feel free to go and check it out. Here's how it works. First of all, you enter your pool volume in liters, so say we had a 70,000 liter pool. Your current cyanuric acid concentration, which might be 25, for example, and then our desired concentration, which might be, say, 40 ppm, which would be right in the middle of that 30 to 50 ppm recommended range. Um, you can then see the calculator is asking you which product you will use. And I've got a list of some of the most popular stabilizer products in Australia. Say that we were using the Zodiac UV blockout product. Um, it would then tell us the concentration of cyanuric acid in the product and how much we need to add. So in this case, we would need to add just over a kilogram of this product to our pool to reach our target cyanuric acid concentration. And if we were using a different product, then the concentration would be, uh, the, the quantity would be different based on the different concentration of active ingredient in that product. And that's how the pool stabilizer calculator works. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this video on low cyanuric acid in swimming pools. Please leave a comment below to let me know what you thought of it. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.